morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling great! Woo! And you know why? Because we beat the Canadians again. We are now 5-2 and two against the Canadians. We have 100% de defeated them in the season series. Wait, that was the last one of the no, series? No, but... Five oh. out of nine oh. is over fucking 50. Oh. No, I didn't wait. Okay, we charge on, but ah, uh, I need fine. to learn to wait. Um, <laughs> I need patience. Patience is a virtue. Who cares? All right, so let's get into this game because honestly, um, was this game interesting? You might be asking because Zach says every game is goddamn interesting. Yeah, I say it for pretty much every game except when we play the Oilers and I want to slowly fall asleep and die. Um, I didn't feel that today. I wanted to die at times, but I, it was okay. Um, so, Hel Hellebuck is in net. Wheeler is out because he's going, having to go through what is supposedly concussion protocol. It is, um, it linked back to the hit he took from Kachuk. I'm not getting into that hit. All I'll say is this. It's not a suspension. It's an accidental elbow to a guy who's not seeing Wheeler coming. I'm not, I'm not having this reverse hit conversation. I had it. I talked about it in the last video. If you guys want to hear my thoughts on reverse hits and stuff and what they thought of it as a reverse hit, talked about in the Ottawa game. Um, Harkins is in because of the line shuffling that would move Cop up to Dubois and Stastny. Dubois would then be centering that line instead. Or, yeah, he, oh, he centers it anyway, but yes. Um, uh, and then Perot would move up to the third line, and then Harkins would slot into the fourth line. And he looked okay. He looked fine. It's, it's funny. Like, we... There's a lot that I like with Harkins, but it, this does highlight his decision-making has to be a little bit better. There was times where he would really kind of just bulldoze his way into a bunch of Montreal players, and I was like, mm, I understand what you wanted to do. You did not do that, though. So, but yeah. Um, so on the Hab side, though, not a fair, not like a full roster. Price is out injured, I believe, still. I think Ben Sherrod is still injured. Um, I think... Is Armia injured, or did I just not see him the entire game? That's not a roast. I, I, he, his stats are, like, surprisingly low in the points, for, points like, compared to the rest of the team, so I'm just assuming he's not playing because he's better than that. Um, Gallagher is out, though. That would be a big loss for them. But don't worry. They would find someone to fill that void of pest. Um, so let's get into this game. Morrissey! the score of this game actually on talking half so that was great i said it would be 4-2 it ended up 4-2 um and then oh What is this game? What is happening? So first my lights go like all spooky wooky on me. And then... Oh, it's gonna be one of those games. Oh my lord, guys! Two chances! So... <laughs> That video is a little long, because first off, right before Deneau scores, in in what I assume is a ritual every time Philip Deneau gets a goal, things started going wrong around my house. The, the power kind of went out a bit. 
almost just signaling like the end is nigh, the end is nigh, oh, fucking run away, the end is nigh. <laughs> yeah, I, it hit it, and then and then Dano scored. I don't believe in that coincidences. <laughs> I don't believe in coincidences like that. Dano equals the apocalypse. We have the proof. Um, anyway, actually, you know what? No. I'm not even kidding. This is scary. Every time there was technical delays, it would lead to us getting scored on. I'm not even kidding. Think about the second goal. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, so, yeah. Stats need to get a good chance in the slot off a face-off. Great, great, great. Um, pro, and then Appleton in the same shift to get two chances to score. This was our best period because it really feels like we caught the... So here's the thing. Um, Montreal's on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, and they had Allen play both. That's not smart. Um, what are you doing? I understand that Caden Primo is not a starter yet. yet. He's, very, he's still very young, a little, a, a little green, as they say. But um, you're going from playing the proverbial top of the division to a team that is contending for second place and arguably for first place. Don't play the same goalie on this on opposite nights. Look, actually, it's funny because the commentators even par made a parallels to that game. Toronto scored on the first shift. Montreal would score a minute later. Same as this night, as same as this game. But hey, I'm not arguing with it. You play a you play a tired goalie. I don't care. <laughs> play no goalie. I don't give a fuck. Um, and then a great pass from Neil Pionk right to the front of the net. Off Lewis's stick as he holds it with one hand like a fucking G. Reaction! Yeah! Woo! Out of way! Lewis! Wow! Continues to impress, honestly. Good penalty killer and... Officially no goal scorer between this and a shorty, I think, is this is second. <sighs> Nothing I can say against this goal. Um, there's not oh it's funny. Now is the question, obviously, uh just in case we're wondering, um, is there anything Alan can do on the first goal? No. It's post in. Is there anything Helba can do on the first goal against him? Not really. It's a rebound. I guess you want him to get, like, you want him to control the rebounds a bit better, but also, where the hell is the team to clear that? Two good shots. They both, have, like, help him out. Anyway, and this one, though, now, people are giving him flack for this one because it kind of bounces around to the net. I get that. I will say, though, this puck takes weird bounces because it's one of those things is when the puck hits a player just in the body, it's really hard as a goalie to react to it because you don't know if, the, if it's hitting a spot on the body, like a hard a hard pad, where it's going to go, no. Or if it's hitting like more of a jersey in the stomach, where it's just going to go, like if it's just going to And just die. Yeah. Die like that pet goldfish you never fed. Like, just die. I'm sorry, Chester. I'm, I'm, it was your time. I, I'm, uh, I'm happy you've never had a goldfish. I'm happy I've never had a goldfish. <laughs> Snack that smiles back. <laughs> that that'll get us soon enough. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it will. This just in: the snack that smiles back, investigating in fish homicide. Oh, dear. Anyway, moving on. Not um. So then, moving on. So then, oh, this was the best. So actually, this period, for the record, I loved our zone entries. This period, every time we got in the puck in. It was there. This was our, like, we walked in and we were like, we live here now. This is our new house. Fucking set up the furniture. Um, for the first period. And then, that boy did it. He did it! Oh, Eagles are still moving, though. Eagles are still moving. Yeah!
And it gets even sweeter knowing this is the winner. Because fucking Ehlers just says, you know what? Fuck this. I'm a first round pick, you fuckers. I'm great. Let me make you look like pylons. Like, honestly, they made, like, fringe Norris pick Jeff Petrie look like fucking Tucker Pullman. No. Ah, uh, this is fucking... It just made him look bad. Um, made him look like Jeff Pylon. Um, but yeah, great, 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 great play. And so, yeah, that would be it. But we were to be outshot this period. We scored three goals on six shots, and then we'd be outshot 14-7, to seven, I believe, at the end of this period. I didn't hate it, though, because here's the thing. Montreal is a deceiving team, because Montreal plays the perimeter. Montreal, in my opinion, is not dangerous on the perimeter. They're dangerous on their zone entries. Because on their zone entries, this, they have this innate ability to be able to always have three guys coming in. And to hit this pass to the side that changes the angle of the zone entry, which immediately kind of nullifies how your defense are playing and it makes them have to really make a quick decision and adapt. But once they get in the zone, it can be really controlled after that. Um, and that and that's not me sh trying to shit on the, the Habs. The Habs have the potential to, to buck this trend, but I've heard like Habs fans get mad about that. Um, so going into the second period, second period was not, I don't want to say it was bad, it was flawed, and it was one of those things where I think we deserved a goal in this period, but we were not going, we, we didn't get it. Um, so Lowry takes a delay of game penalty, ah, that's, that's a bad penalty, buddy. Um, you really gotta, not, not when you're so close to the, the uh, glass, you can't be doing that. Um, great saves, uh, by Connor Halibut while he sits on his ass. Uh, Cop would take a Trevor penalty. And then the announcers were like, well, he, he, to say he kind of went down easy. I'm like, no, he didn't. It's a trap. Shut up. Keep moving. <laughs> Keep on fucking rolling. Um, so then this is an interesting one. Anderson gets an interference penalty by fucking sending our stick into orbit. Like it fucking, it, it, it was like one of those fucking uh, circus performers where you see the stick of like fire and it goes, up in the air, that was the hockey stick, and we just went, like, it didn't even land until they blow the whistle, like, it was fucking, and there's an argument that's like, well, he's got to hold on to his stick, I'm like, yeah, but, hey, jackass, he doesn't have that from him throwing his stick up in the air, it doesn't spin like that, you get the rotation oh, from geez. your ass doing the motion of this, that's on you, <laughs> if it just went like this, I'd say he threw it, but it went, as someone who has done a stick lift like that in minor hockey, I totally deserved a penalty on that. I yeah. didn't end up getting one, but... Just move your feet, Anderson. It hit the ceiling. Uh, yeah, it so it would be... It would be four and four, but then Lekkinen would get a big, like, a, a chance. Hell would make a good... I think it's Hell would make a save. It's hard to tell if he gets saved or gets blocked. Wouldn't go in. That's all I care about. Um, now, Perot gets away with either a high stick or a slash. I couldn't decide. It wasn't a hard slash, but it was definitely there. Um, right? It's on the play that Hellbook's mask gets taken uh, off. It's right before... The, and Perot, like some kind of drunk-ass Jedi, just goes like this. This is the actual motion. I'm not even sure if he hits anything, but what the hell? I'm like, holy fuck. Like, why are you killing the birds? What the hell, man? Come on, Frenchie. Um, but yeah, there wouldn't be a penalty on that. And honestly, if there was, it would have been considered weak, but it also looked really odd. Um, uh, oh, yes. This was great. Um, so, Corey Perry decides to hit Demo from behind. It's not terrible. It's not as bad as, like, the Lucic hit on Appleton, which I even actually... I didn't defend, but I, I, I pulled a half measure on that. I, I will say this. Like, I wasn't fully condemning it to hell. Um, this, though. It's not terrible, but Demello lands badly. And Logan Stanley says, So you have chosen death, my good sir. Reaction here. Oh, he doesn't want to go! Corey Perry's like, I like my life. I don't want it to end. Perry's like, why am I going off? I didn't fight. Yeah, we know. Yeah! 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 Ho, 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 ho! 
And Perry has the, oh, I've done fucked up face better than anything I've ever seen. Because he does this thing where his eyes don't widen or anything. He just goes like this. Like he kind of just looks like, it kind of just looks like one of those babies when you take their soother away and it just stares at you like it hates your guts and it just goes. And fucking, cause Logan Stanley grabs him and he goes and takes off his gloves and Perry's got his gloves and he's like. And I'm like, oh, you, you're dead. They didn't get to blows. They should have got to blows. But yeah, pick your battles, I guess. Um, there were technical delays. Well, not technical delays, but there were technical difficulties. And then right after that, the Habs would score. Now, I'm not going to say there's a conspiracy. No, I'm not even jumping down that fucking rabbit hole. But it, it is funny that there was technical delays for me on both Habs goals. Oh, but what was the problem with this Habs goal? It's that there was another assist to the backboards at this point, which is getting really fucking annoying reaction here. Ah! feel about this okay so i know the go-to explanation can be how about go back in your net but i don't want to like just like get lazy with this my explanation be like oh yeah stay in your net stay in your net no no no. there's a there's a time and a place to leave your net i would argue though that this was never going to go well here's why this isn't some lob it this is like a jeff petrie fucking wrister off the back of that glass i think it hits a stanchion i don't give a fuck um geometry was not on hellebuck's side in any situation here and hellebuck says oh, i'm gonna go get that and it's like wait a damn minute but you're going oh dear and yeah paul byron just says oh great now the goalies are finally just it's like that scene from my dutch was like you take the goal fine i don't care like where goldberg just throws his equipment yeah. away Paul Byron's like, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, yeah. And that would make all sorts of nervousness to make it three to two. Um, Suzuki gets an easy interference penalty. Yeah, easy. He just hits pro for no reason. Um, and then Montreal actually dodges a too many men on the ice penalty while they're shorthanded. And the announcers caught this. And you know what? Fair play to them. They're 100% right. And here's why, how I know for a fact they're right. So... This is a game that I like to say, what's in the pan? And what I mean as what's in the pan is if you pan the camera, what's over there? Oh, here we see one Habs player. Okay, he's, oh, that means because the Habs player's caught behind the zone, we're gonna have a five on three. I pan over. Here we see four Habs players. Wait a goddamn fucking minute. Like, the dude leaves, and, and maybe this will sound not bad, but... Considering how fast the game of hockey plays, the guy leaves the bench five seconds early, maybe? Like, like maybe less, maybe like three? Noticeable. We go offside, and so they don't notice anything, but I was like, okay, sure. Could have been a five on three, but I don't care. And honestly, like, I feel like with my own biases, I probably missed something that the, the like for the Jets. So you know what? It's it's fair and fair. Um, so three to two at the end of the second period. Um, whatever. You know what? Whatever. This was a game, this was a period that, I don't want to say it was a momentum shift, but it was one of these things where both teams probably deserved to get a goal this period. The But the, but the goal that was given was not deserving. It was weird. Um, but you know what? Like, the Habs were working really hard at this point, and we were kind of just coasting a little bit in the second period. Not badly. Now, the third period was all sorts of cross. Um, so we are, we are 14, one and two going into the third period when we're leading. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, I don't care, but <laughs> cause that, that fact means nothing until we decide what number we're going to add to that. 
Um, big scramble at early in the period and hell looks crease. Yep. Cobb gets a breakaway, gets stopped. He just doesn't get enough time to really get a good move off. He doesn't really fully extend his arms out to really get around Allen. Still, you know, is what it is. Um, Tucker, fucking walk in, boy! This is why Tucker Pullman doesn't have many points. I'm just gonna say it right now. Logan Stanley on his goal. Forbert does this. Pionk does it all the time. Morsi's finally starting to do it more. Fucking walk in! I understand you are a defenseman and you are scared that a guy will block your shot. But Pullman is on the blue line. Habs, Habs player is here. He's here. The net's there. Like, he has a clear path to get at least three more steps. And don't even take a slap shot. Wrist it. Honestly, because wrist shots are easier to deflect. And they're more accurate to get on the net. And when you have two Jets players standing in front of Jake Allen, just fucking put a wrister on. Walk in, put a wrister. Because it does the exact same as a slap shot from five feet back from where you were. Yeah, and I find it's also, if, if as a defenseman, if you're looking for sticks, it's much easier to hit that with a wrist shot than a slap shot. He just needs to establish himself as he comes in a bit. I understand that there were Habs players around the blue line, but he needs to know he has room to do it. And it may sound like I'm nitpicking, and I am a little bit, but there are things about Pullman that makes him an incomplete defenseman. These are some of those things, because I think he's an okay defenseman, but... There are things that hold him back from really being known as being a good, real solid person to add in our core. He's he's kind of in one of those list of people that are the reason why our defense is sub at, is like subpar. And it's little things. Little things add up. Let's keep moving on. Um, we are 19-0 when we score four goals this period, this season. I was like, okay, so that is the key. Um Okay. So Third period was a fucking mess at this point. Get in the hella bunker. Get in the hella bunker. This is becoming a thing because that's what we fucking did. We got in the hella bunker and we prayed to Jesus it would save us. And thank fuck it fucking did. Um, we couldn't connect the pass. I'm wearing this. Um, I don't have any war memorabilia. I didn't serve. Um. <laughs> Probably for the better. I only have the memorabilia of the snowball war of three years ago. Or whenever I was in grade school. Um, yeah. So, there was... Okay. So, this is one thing I really like. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with this. Fuck you. It looks like from my angle, I'm wearing like a, a real lazy Welcome version. Welcome to the No Ducky Podcast for anyone uh, watching their first video today. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm better than this. I promise. I From my angle, it looks like I'm wearing one of those Russian hats when they got the two flaps and the thing in the uh -huh. front. Yeah. I bet it looks the same for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah except for not a fucking square. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is the hella bunker. We need to write that there somewhere. Um, I just saw this I box. Got, like, fully, like, I you were just I, well. I saw this got box. A spray I saw it? no no. I saw this box behind the the couch forever, and I was like, that box is nice. That's a nice box, and I'll use that box. Um, so here's a funny one. There is an icing penalty they wave off out of spite because the, the Canadians take... The Canadians, instead of going for the puck right away, they ch decide to cha have a line change. You have upset the linesman. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. Um, yeah, you have up upset the linesman, so they just wave it off. And I'm like, oh, idiot. Uh, PLD has a great chance. I'm, I'm just gonna... It'll be like the shell of safety. And the Red Dead too. Shell of safety, shell of safety, shell of safety. Those guys are great. Okay. Who doesn't love turtles? Okay. Except for tortoises. Okay, we're going to... Just keep going. Uh, PLD has a great chance to score. Nope. Oh, oh that's not great. Um, and then Suzu Suzuki would take a high sticking penalty. Easy peasy, lemon fucking squeezy. Um, he just fucking... Oh, Right in the face, and I was like, bleed, 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 because there's like 4.15 left, so I'm like, bleed, you motherfucker, bleed. He didn't bleed. I mean, you know. That's fine, too. I'll take a two-minute power play. Whatever. Um, okay, so on this power play, fucking A-plus effort by the trainer here. Um, Ehlers shoots it, snaps his stick, goes, oh, son of a bitch. Probably said it in Danish, but you know. 
Um, has to skate back. Trainer goes, here's your stick, youngster. And he's like, or whatever the fuck they speak in Danish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those three Danish fans we have here. I'm so sorry. Your language befuddles me. I wish to learn it one and, day. And that's because of your lack of intelligence. That is not because of them. It's, yes. Yes. I, I thought that was abundantly clear. Um, sure. yes. Um, but yeah, no. And then Montreal would pull the goalie, and then Copper! Yeah, over the line, over the line! Yes! See ya! Goodbye! Good night! Thanks for coming! Woo! Woo! So I see you fucking delivered! And that's just nice because he's now scored like whatever they'll say in like the last. I like I like the, the way they word it. They'll be like, he's got seven in the last nine games. Don't mention the fact that he has four in one of those. He has seven in the last nine games. Don't mention the fact that when we take one of those games away, he actually has three in the last eight or something. Three stars. So three stars. Pretty. Um, it's it's, uh, it's a bit toughy. Um, also, one one little tidbit. Logan Stanley got an assist on that Elias goal. Um, honorable mention. Honorable mention. The trainer. Okay. Because we were up by one at that moment, and if he doesn't give Ehlers that stick, it's three on two the other way. And you know what? That's the only time I'm going to get to say it, so fuck yeah. Atta boy. All right. Third, Third star, point. Logan Stanley, because I wanted to see that fight. It wouldn't have been a fight. We all know it wouldn't have been a fight. It would have been a public execution. But actually... Now that I think about it with the live crowd, it would have been a private execution, but... Well, it was on national television, so... Public execution. A, a, a private live execution. It, it's, Shut up. It's, it's, um, anyway... It's on TV. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, no. Um, and he got an assist, which now means he has four times as many points as Bull you did. Excellent. Have fun in surgery. I, I hope it goes well for you. All, all seriousness. And I don't want to go out and say we miss you, but we hope you have a successful recovery. All right. In a year. Um, no, I'm kidding. I would never wish upon that. Yeah. Um, anyway, second star uh, would be that Danish boy, Ehlers. And I'm not doing it again because it makes me lose my voice when I go for way too hard for it. But yes. Um, and then number one, obviously, Connor Hellebuck. It had to be Connor Hellebuck. Connor Hellebuck and his Hellebunker. It is the reason why we hold on in the third period. Or as many, and, and don't get me wrong, yeah, he's the reason we hold on in the third period, as all the Habs fans would like to remind us. But you know what? He's our goalie. Can't blame us for having a good tendy. We drafted him in like the fifth round. You could have had him. Idiots. Um, but yeah, no. That's the video. Um... If you're new here, uh, I'm, I, I'd be shocked if you were really intrigued after watching this. But you know what? I'm going to be pretty optimistic. <laughs> I'm going to be pretty hopeful. Um, so uh, please subscribe if you're new to the channel because we do appreciate it. We really do. Um, we're at like around 320s right now. Or, uh, I think 324 last time. 24? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Giddy. Um, yeah, our goal is 350 by the end of the month. Uh, obviously, the, the long game is like 1,000, but like that's not getting hit. Like next year easily, I don't see that. It, it's it, I'd be shocked if it did. Um, but yeah, no. Um, don't forget to leave a like on these videos because it really helps uh, spread the word and just to show that you liked it. And then the, and it's nice and that's nice. And while I do have a somewhat vested opinion, fucking obviously, I do try to be as unbiased as I can while being aware of my biases. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Nolan Hockey Podcast. Uh, comment down below your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on the video, everything, comments, criticism, all that, compliments, all that, it's all welcome. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Fucking W. Not an M, W. Ooh.